In late winter and early spring, Taylor schooling in the waves of Fraser Island trigger an annual migration of anglers. An area between Indian Head and Waddy Point is a no-go zone in August and September, but there's plenty more beach to choose from. So what I've got here is our pretty standard Taylor rig. I'm just running two swivels up here because a bit of sweep down here, so that just gives me less uh, line twist. Three by five o gang hooks. Again, I've got another swivel here. And then the faithful old pilchard. We want that to line up roughly like so. To maximise your casting distance, in the case of an Aldi, I always tell people to treat it as chopping firewood. If you put your arms up, the quicker you pull your left hand back, and you punch it out with your right hand, the better, straighter, more powerful cast you're going to get. So that sun, it's just disappeared behind the sand dunes, shadows on the water, and it's amazing. Everyone just sits here watching, waiting, waiting. Bang, a few fish caught, and the adrenaline pumping in everyone along this beach. So I'm gonna get this off as quick as I can and get another bait out there in the water. So you have a look along the beach, there'd be probably 50, 60 anglers. Everyone's using bait. I thought I'd give something a little bit different a try. I've got the Savage um, Sea Missiles. So shaped very much like what the bait fish are, so match the hatch. Um, I've picked up a dart. We'll keep going and see if we can grab a tailor. Revenge. Those teeth are very sharp. New beauty. So that's how you actually get the hook out, nice and quick, nice and easy. So, managed to get a tailor. The minimum size length that makes a tailor a keeper is 35 centimetres, measured from the tip of its mouth to the end of its tail. So a good size tailor, good fun. Absolutely having a ball. That's what you call unlucky. You can see how they just chase after it and behind it. And I don't know how he missed that, but he did. And that's my cue to put the rod away for the day. We're only allowed to possess 20 tailor each for the duration of our stay. But Jason has plans for a few of our fillets tonight. If you want to give that little knob up the top there a bit of a twist. This one here, that one there. Ho <laughs> ho jeez, I'll turn it down a bit, I might get a tan. Jason's volunteered to be camp cook, and I'm his helper. Thai red curry fish is apparently one of his Fraser Island go-to recipes. Let's go four of them. Four? See, we're in different tents tonight. What's the go with this man vs Fraser I've been hearing about, you know? You've got a bit of a boys trip that happens a couple times a year or something? Mate, man vs Fraser started with uh, me and a mate and we just wanted somewhere to go. Yeah. Um, kicked it off with uh, the two cars and ten blokes. And the idea behind it was that when you come across to Fraser Island, we didn't bring any food. <laughs> and you could only eat what you caught. That's why you're so good at flicking those lures today. <laughs> you didn't want to starve. I, 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 don't, I don't mind flicking the lure. So uh, anybody just caught uh, beach worms and pippies and had to try and come up with something with that? We have actually... Oh, I don't tell. <laughs> we, we, we have actually eaten the pippies. Oh, yeah. Um, in in uh, a, a beer batter, which was quite good. Um, but nine times out of ten, we try and eat the fish, mate. Hey Gary, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? Well, there's two options. The lady down here at the Cathedral Beach Resort said the toilet block needs a reno. Yeah, or well, you can come fishing with bad. me. Oh. Yeah. You've got to think about it. <laughs> <laughs>